Welcome to another episode of Bargain with Saturdays, and this week I decided to take a look at Grand Prix, The Winning Tale. A movie so bad, it actually put me off of making videos yesterday. I know, I've watched some pretty bad movies, so I suppose you could argue that's a compliment. This movie is among the worst I've ever watched, and definitely one of the worst family movies I've ever seen, if not the worst so far. It's not just that this movie has bad acting, bad writing, bad editing, some really awkward choices of music, and sometimes the way they're applied is also really weird. But what really kills it is the plot. Not the basic plot, because the basic gist of the plot is that this this new girl in school wants to get back at the bully for picking on her it's by beating him at the thing he's best at in the whole wide world, or at least he loves the most, go-kart racing. Which admittedly wouldn't be a bad idea, because what who doesn't want to one-up the school bully every now and again? But... The bully, Ricky in this case, isn't committing like minor petty offenses against her by calling her names or making fun of her clothes, maybe causing her to jump up in fright by making a loud noise behind her, causing her to drop her books or something. No, he does criminal acts like unlawful restraint by shoving one of her nerdy friends in a locker and trapping him in it, duct taping her cousin to a tree. And the list just goes on and on. I guess you could count on the course of the movie, he has at least five misdemeanor charges for unlawful restraint, co coercion, because he blackmails her, he coerces her into doing a street race with him by threatening to get her coach slash older friend fired from his dad's dealership by lying about him stealing parts. Um, considering he then distracts her just before the street race so that one of his friends can loosen her rear right tire so she'll crash, you can argue it's at best aggravated assault and the go kart's the, his weapon of choice here. Or it's attempted first-degree murder, because it was a premeditated act. Because driving a go-kart at speed, and then hitting cement, could obviously cause serious injury, and considering she's found passed out by her friends later, with only one of the bully's friends even apparently worried about what could have happened to her, you could argue that he is definitely guilty of first-degree murder, because he just simply drove off and left her there. Well, not for not guilty of first degree murder, obviously attempted first degree murder. It's just mind numbing that they they focus on this whole get back at the bully by beating him at go kart racing thing. He's committing acts that are so criminal. You should be calling the cops. You, you should be having a judge standing before him saying, arguing that they should potentially be charging him as an adult for his criminal offenses. So he may not even be going to juvie. He might be going to actual prison over this shit. And honestly, I wouldn't be arguing against him being sent there. But no, they send him to military school to straighten him out. Because his dad's, like, sick of all his bullying ways and him not doing his homework and stuff. I'm like, seriously, that's what's going to get him sent to military school? He's not doing his homework. He's having one of his friends. He beat in a go-kart race doing it for him. Like, like forget the whole um, unlawful restraint stuff and coercion and causing a girl to potentially get seriously injured by, cause, by causing a go-kart crash. We're going to stick with the whole, you're not doing your homework, you're going to military school. Like, damn, like, seriously. The, 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 like, like, that sort of stuff just pisses me off. Like, this isn't the sort of thing that you can just ignore a bully doing and just brush it under the rug as some minor, petty sh bullshit. <sighs> I suppose that's what really turned me off from doing anything yesterday. I was just, it's just, I just had to get some of that aggravation out of my system before I started doing any recordings. Because I really don't like sounding pissed off when I'm doing Let's Plays. Till next time, then. See ya.